Hello everyone, you might have noticed that things look a little different. That's right, I've put the box of what I'm reviewing straight into view, straight off. Usually I just have a blank space for you to look at, and then I bring the thing in. But this time around I'm doing things a little differently because i got not just one, but two. No, three different boxes to review. Three different LEGO Speed Champions cars. Packaging's a bit generic in some regards. You've got the same face in all three boxes. One's a uh, Ferrari, one's, well, two are Ferraris. Different symbols in both cases, and one's a Porsche. Or Porsche, however you're supposed to actually pronounce that. Uh, just quick generic look over the boxes. Do they look like what they're supposed to look like? Do they have any optional extras? Well, that looks like it's got a little bit of a sh uh, chicane type thing there. That looks like it might have some of the lights. And this looks like it's the, got the winner, because he's got a cup. So, respectively, we have the 458 Italia GT2 75908, the LaFerrari 75899, uh, and the whoop, 918 Spider Porsche. Uh, let's just see, is it going to be much in the way of Anything noticeably different as far as the packaging is concerned? Not really. Uh, looks like he's had a bit of an accident in the story there. Uh, real car facts 240 miles per hour, 0 to 16, 2.5 seconds, 887 horse brake power. I presume that's what that means. I could... I'm not a car person, so I couldn't really tell you. But it looks like it's got at least two different types of uh, wheel arc type stuff. Because that probably just means that you turn it over, but never mind. And here we can see this man going off to the shops, changing his uh, tyre and winning the race. No real world facts this time, although there is some sort of s authentication sticker, I suppose. No, yeah, uh, no, no, it's official product, so presumably I might be able to take that off and stick it somewhere for a keepsake. Um, one of those little scanny thing that I never really bother with. Uh, let's just see, is that repeated over here on this one? Yes, you've got the same sort of sticker, same sort of situation. These cars always seem to be changing tyres on these boxes. Of course, real race cars do that quite a lot because they wear them down because of the sheer use. And more real car facts. 217 miles per hour, 0 to 60 in 3 seconds. So it's got a higher speed that takes longer to get there. Uh, 963 horsepower. So it's more powerful. Well, I wonder. Can I do that again without actually knocking the camera? I'll just open this up. I'm going to think it's going to be, what, two bags this time? Yep, two bags. Two nails in there. Well, well, two proper bags and one little small bag and then another small little bag. Uh, instructions and stickers. Try. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, oh no. That's your miserably. Yes, instructions. And it's going to be the same over here. Uh, but I keep these actually a bit more separate. Oh, this one doesn't want to open. Open, damn it. Yes, and here we have this one. Two bags. Small bag. Helmet that somewhat resembles the Stig's helmet, if you know what I'm talking about. Chances are you've seen top here, so yes, I'll be. About right, let's just move all of that over there. Final box. Yes. Well, I'm going to have some fun. My god, that was nearly four minutes of, uh, of me wasting my time telling you about all of this. Well, I'll, uh, I'll get on with it then. So here we are, uh, all three cores built after an hour of putting them together. Uh, all three of them have fairly similar parts, uh, fairly standard construction methods in all cases. Uh, this one has the most basic design of the lot. Uh, some sections are just still quite nicely. No roof, so it's obviously going to get chilly. Uh, whereas these two are basically enclosed canopies. No opening parts, anything fancy like that, although you do have the f tailgate, the fin, the whatever the proper terminology is there. Somebody I'm sure can comment below and tell me just what they're actually called, but uh, all three of them are quite nice. Um, as I'm not a car nut, not a petrol head, not a motor head, I can't really tell you if they look anything like the real deal. But as far as something made out of Lego is concerned, they look very, very nice. 
Now they all come with one little attachment, each one little individual setup. In this case, it's the traffic lights. In this case, it's this, whatever it is. And in this case, it's the car that won the race. So it gets that little trophy. And the figures are all, as usual, they're lovely, happy little cells. Only one face. One of them, one of the Ferrari boys, does have a beard. Ah, yes, there we go. I haven't bothered to have a shave. Aren't I fancy? And there you go, that's uh, the cause in a nutshell. We'll take a look at each one in a bit more detail. We'll start off by looking at the Porsche. Um, a bit more space since I've moved everything else around, don't you think? Oh yes. You'll notice I haven't bothered putting the rims on. Uh, we'll come back to that later. It's got some lights on at the back. One of the cars, I forget which one of the Ferraris it was, actually has two spots where you have to put green lights on and then everything else gets built up around it so you can't see them and that does strike me as a bit odd. A uh, bit silly even, but that doesn't really happen here. Everything's quite nice and basic and uh, works quite well. Now in all cases, uh, there are two sets of rims per car. And to be brutally frank, I've forgotten which set goes with which. But we'll just open this up. If the bag will actually cooperate. Uh, let's see, so we have okay, so we have two different types. Uh, the one on my left and the one on my right, which probably aren't going to come into focus too well. I'll just angle them like this and hope for the best. If you can make it out, and this one here on my right has a bit more detail to it, it's got more sort of gaps in the ridges and so on, and this one's a smoother one. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll just put them on like this, and you can kind of get a good idea of how they're supposed to work. The wheels on the car go round and round, round and round, round and round, but not particularly well, at least not while you're doing it by hand. Uh, now if you do want to take them off, you need the spanner. All three of the drivers come with spanners. And they are something of... Oh, just to show you how difficult this is, because the wheels are so close to the actual units. See, they've made these ones particularly bigger and thicker and so on. And everything quite low down. Okay, you may notice that the clearance here isn't particularly great. Although that is somewhat more realistic, I suppose. Okay. If you want to actually get them out, you just poke through there like that, and they're off. Just put that back on like that, put that on there, and put that to one side. And I'll grab one of the Ferraris at random. I think this is the one that had... Let's just see if I take this off. Ah, this didn't have the extra light, but it did have suspension blocks in place. You can't actually see them, no matter what angle you put it at while the car is actually fully assembled. But now that I've demolished it a bit and dropped it for sheer spite, you can sort of see that it's just not actually accessible now. These doors here do look like they should open, but they don't. They're just all solid pieces. The canopy does open up quite nicely. Uh, just to, ooh, I wasn't expecting that to happen. Just to show the construction method in that regard. If you're a fan of Lego, you've probably figured that particular method out quite now. It's quite a nice alternative way of building things, and I do see that's getting used quite a bit on building methods, uh, especially houses and so on. I'm just going to have to take that off like that. Let's fit that in like that. Yes, and that seems to actually work quite nicely. Here's a new one. I build the car for you, I show it off, and then I demolish it in front of you and try to put it back together. That's got to be a new kind of video. One thing I don't like about these canopies is they don't always feel that secure. That's mostly because they're not. They're literally just ever so precariously. Whoop. Trying to grab something when you're looking through the viewfinder doesn't always work. It's ever so precariously resting on the edges here. It's fine up front, okay, 
but at the back you just sort of feel like it's going to depress down a bit. Ah, uh, let's open one of these bad boys up. Are these going to be the same? No, it does look like the different designs in each bag. Let's just see. Just move that over there like that. Just accidentally knocked my lighting rig a little. Let's try not to let these go flying all over the place. Ah, uh, right. So you've got, again, two completely different designs from what we had previously. And because they're grey, they might show up in the light a little better than the uh, black ones did. And there you go. Same thing as before, very low but uh, very low centre of gravity, very close to the ground. It doesn't spin so well when you do it like this, but all the same, those little wheel trim arches type thing, whatchamacallums, do look quite nice. Uh, they do add something extra to the car. And of course you're all well aware by now that I don't do the stickers because I like my cores to look drivable. That does bring me on to something else about these particular vehicles. There's nothing, apart from rear brake lights, which they all have, there's nothing to give them indicators or headlights. Uh, obviously, with some modifications, you could presumably fix that a bit. It's a little odd with this one, why they've got this little bit here, sort of a hook that's just standing out a bit. But I suppose that's so it can be towed away in case of damage, for example. I'll just move that over there. And this one, I've got to say, it does feel a bit more secure overall, although it does have the same precarious arrangement. It just somehow feels a little more secure though. You've still got a bit of a, a bit of a give there, but that's all right. That's, it's actually more forgivable than that is that feels like it's giving a lot more. I'll just move that into position so this one feels like it's moving in more and this one feels a bit more secure. A bit odd but there you go. Uh, and again all right let's see we've got a third bag over here and I think these are all different. They certainly look all different. Yeah again they are entirely different designs. Uh, let's just see. So we've got, yeah, everything is completely different all again. Um, all again? What am I trying to say? You'd think I was drinking or something. But then again, this job could be depressing enough in some cases to drive you to drink. Not! This job is fun. This job lets me show off one of my hobbies. And God knows I have certainly been doing quite a lot of Lego videos of late, haven't I? Maybe I need to branch out a bit. I'll have to have a rummage to... Uh, I'll have a rummage through the house sometimes because I do think I've got some other stuff that I've just unearthed more recently that might be of vague interest to some people. Uh, certainly from a historical point of view. Yeah, I think I'll do something like that in the future there. But back to what I'm doing right now, which is right now just looking and turning this vehicle around. I'm pretty sure I've missed a word out there that should be looking at this vehicle and turning it around. Well, it is after 11 o'clock, so I am just a little on the late side, but there you go. This wasn't quite top gear, but it certainly did involve car, Lego car. And on that bombshell, good night.